my C++ series. Today in this video we are just going to see the if statement in detail by just building our little project, a useful project that will uh, that you will enter your marks and it will tell you about your grade that a grading system that you will enter marks and it will uh, output your grade what is your grade according to your marks then we will apply the conditions on your marks so let's jump directly onto the code that uh, I declare a variable called marks and I just want to see how that enter your marks marks okay so it will become more concise and useful then we will see then we will apply the condition on the marks if marks uh, is greater than or equals to 90 then what we will that a plus simple so else if uh, marks are greater than or is equal to 80 and marks are less than 90 here okay if the marks are greater than uh, or equal to 90 and less than 90 as well because we applied a condition greater than 90 if the 91 then it will directly execute this code statement as well so and and will will apply the exact because if the both uh, are true then it will become true as well so another condition else if marks are greater than or is equals to 70 and so b plus okay else if marks is greater than or equals to 60 then and marks as less than 70 then else if marks are greater than or equals to 50 and marks are less than 60 then so less than 50 is called so else else we'll apply uh, the condition that uh, if the marks are less than 50 because we applied all the conditions for if the marks are greater than 50 then we applied all the condition and fails okay so this is the output so let's build it see in we have to see in the marks Okay, so then we will build it. You can see. So it is asking us to enter your marks. So I will enter 90. Okay, so my grade is A. Plus. So one again, apply different condition. If I will enter the 69 your grade is B so my grade is B in this time so if I enter the marks less than 50 for example 49 see is saying that you are failed that's it that is the very useful program first we have built in our C++ series and uh, we will see a lot more 
projects and a lot more things in C++ in advance and I will also show you that where you can use these things I will teach you a topic then I will describe in detail that where you can use these um, these, these logics and these concepts as well so I hope you all have understand now the if statement very well so goodbye for now